in this growth engine daily, I'd like you to think about using playbooks in your business. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with playbooks, uh, you may know them as standard operating procedures or a checklist or a process list. You know, summarized, it's how do we do a certain task or a certain process from beginning to end. And that may have multiple stages in it. Um, so, what are the benefits of using playbooks? Well, ultimately, if you think about what happens inside a business, usually people who have been there you know, a reasonable amount of time do the tasks, do them well, uh, but there's no sort of repetition inside the business. You know, one administrator may process a file slightly different or in a slightly different order to another administrator, whereas one salesperson you know they'll use the sales skills may um, go through a, the sales process with a client slightly different to another one so the benefit of using playbooks it, it really provides consistency and consistency is what drives customer experience what drives efficiency from your employees which ultimately drives your bottom line um, and improves it because if you can do a process or a task or a job um, it's, it's not about doing it faster sometimes but doing it regular doing it consistent doing it well you're going to maximize your employees time the resources that you need to invest to get the same amount of output so playbooks are a wonderful um, tool to use um, often People will say, oh, I've got a playbook in marketing, or I've got a playbook in sales. But as I touched on earlier, playbooks are company-wide. So I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. Um, if you hire a new recruit and bring them in, and it doesn't matter if that's a junior, um, and if you're know, like an apprentice, somebody who's part qualified, or you know, on top of the game, who's really gonna help you drive forward, it doesn't really matter. It's still going to be new to them the way you do things inside your business, and you know even for the most experienced individuals, you know maybe they went from one company to another company in the same space. You know your company will still have its own culture, its own way, its own processes, reporting structure. So a playbook allows somebody to come in and review exactly step by step what they're required to do, in what order and by what time, um, which is ultimately going to you know drive drive the, the output um, you know, to be more consistent and efficient as we said earlier. So think about finance, here's, here's some examples of playbooks. We have a playbook in our business for how to load invoices up, how to manage our credit and credit control, uh, purchase ledger. Um, you think about when you buy goods and whether that's a contract over a certain value, an item over a certain value. In your business, you may have to go and get a second signature or get an approval. Your bosses or you as the boss may want them to go out and get three quotations or three RFQs, RFPs as you might know them. Um, so ultimately, think about that. If you've got a playbook that says, you know, if we want to, you know, hire, buy, purchase or lease a new photocopier, you know, it may be approach three Canon dealers, you know, you know, uh, obtain service contracts, obtain terms and conditions, get quote, get demo. You know, can you see it's like a bullet point list. And you don't have to have any fa fancy software, although at the end of this, I'll leave a couple of recommendations for uh, playbook uh, software. Uh, but ultimately, you can see anybody coming into your finance department or your purchase department who needs to go and lease a new photocopier, you don't have to spend time explaining every detail of what you do. And ultimately, the work that that person brings back, uh, it's gonna be in line with your expectations. Now, for all those who are jumping up and down saying, hey, that sounds like micromanagement, it generally isn't. This is empowering people to go and use their skills and to follow a process that your business uh, needs done. You know, if you move into operations, when you win a new customer, having a playbook for how your customer service teams will onboard a customer, when they make a telephone call, when they write the letter, when do they um, set up their account, how do they um, send out their, 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 their account number or uh, you know, do the first onboarding call. You know, in recruitment, if, if, especially if you're working with recruitment agents, you may have a specific way that you want to recruit. It may be a, a telephone screening call, it may then be a, uh, a video call, it then may be a face-to-face, -face. it may be an assignment that you um, want to 
pass to the you know the shortlisted candidates to sort of undertake for skill competency. Uh, ultimately, um, having a playbook that you know you could give to a recruitment agent that says, yes, you you do what you do at your side, vetting and screening. But once they once they come over to us, this is the process. It's going to allow the recruitment company to. Um, you shortlist and, and, and sift through the candidates a lot better uh, and if you're recruiting internally as well you know you're, you're different departmental managers you know, you've got a playbook in play um, you know you move through into marketing that you know marketing playbooks there's so many but you know it could be how do we do social media what's our content strategy what does a funnel look like you know for awareness consideration decision stage um, how do we um, you know, buying paid media, how do we use an agency, uh, what do we require, all these sort of steps that you go through before you either appoint an agency or implement a campaign live outside. And that could be broken down into build your assets, design the, you know, the graphics, you record the videos, uh, have the editor edit the videos. Um, you know, whilst this may sound like just a step-by-step -step checklist, uh, the reality is it is. But in so many businesses, um, you've got two or three people in a different department all doing different things in different ways or the same things in different ways which is affecting your performance. Driving to sales, um, here at The Successor we have a fairly stringent sales process where we have a connect call just to see if there's a fit, we have a discovery call where we go a deep dive to find out really what's uh, going off and, and to introduce our services, we then do goal planning to sort of structure what objectives we would be trying to achieve uh, once uh, the client comes on board. We have a prescription section where we give a quotation out or an investment uh, uh, schedule out. Um, you know, there's negotiation in between on that. And then there is this closed one or closed loss. We have a playbook for that, a step-by-step, -step, including scripts. And, you know, while scripts can sound scripted, uh, excuse the pun, um, it's more of a guide for the person to follow um, and everything from opening statements, positioning statements, objection handling, we've got a playbook that helps the sales team do that. You know, as you move into governance, you know, how do we do, you know, how do we keep our licenses up to date, what are the uh, processes that we need to go, do we need to go through, do we need qualified personnel, how do we keep our HMRC right, how do we have our social responsibility activities in the community right, how do we report to shareholders, all playbooks. So when you're thinking about it, imagine going into McDonald's from the point that you order to the point that you either sit down with your beer or you take it out for the drive through or whatever, um, there is a systematic process where individuals have got specific jobs to do in specific orders that guarantees consistency at an output um, that you know it's I don't ever think anybody will out systemize McDonald's um, but ultimately you, you understand that that is where you get into um, so the quick recap of benefits you know is this you know it, it allows you to think through your processes it empowers your team it improves customer service improves efficiency and ultimately improves your bottom line so how do you get started with playbooks well you know the cheap and simple way Get a Microsoft Word document or a Google Doc, do it by department, let's start with finance, and then let's pick out all the major tasks that they've got to do, and then just put a header, subheader in there and then bullet point it down. I want to do one, I want to do two, I want to do three, I want to do four, and at five it gets passed over or it's completed. So that's, that's a simple way of doing it. You can systemize that just off a, 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 an operating procedure of something as simple as a Word document. But don't do it yourself, get your team involved, especially the managers and an employee who's working in that department. And cross-reference it with another employee, get the best process working for you. If you do want to go automated, uh, things like HubSpot, with HubSpot Enterprise uh, Systems, uh, you can get playbooks and build those all out, they're all linking to your CRM, so your salespeople have the sales playbooks, customer service people have the customer service playbooks, etc, etc. Um, or if you're not quite at the level of HubSpot Enterprise, that's absolutely fine, it is a big investment. There's things like Process Street, so you can check that out at process.st, um, and Process Street is like a standalone piece of software that helps you run uh, and build playbooks with customized fields, drop down fields, you know, free text fields, and that can link into Zapier and back into your CRM and things like that. So I'd love to know if one, if you're using playbooks, uh, and whether you use them entire across your entire business or just in certain departments, 
I'd love to know uh, what how they're working for you if you've seen better results or if you're just getting started and this helps you to sort of process map out what you're going to do so as always leave us a comment below we'll be happy to get any questions answered and as always we appreciate your continuing your growth engine development go do the hustle go make it happen and we look forward to catching up with you 